So, I hate crushes. Let me explain. We all know what crushes are. We all had one at least one part in our life. When you get a crush, you start to feel weird. No, not like that, you weirdo. Your heart starts to race, you feel nervous around the person, and every day, when you wake up, the first thing that comes to your head is that person. And now at first hand, this sounds innocent and cute, but in reality, this is the worst feeling you'll probably ever feel in a long time. Now, let me tell you a story that almost ruined my high school reputation and why I hate crushes. This started when I was in second grade. I was in the class and the teacher assigned all of the students to make a circle and hold hands. Now, I don't remember what the assignment or the activity was, but we were holding hands. And then this girl was on my left side while my friend was on my right. At first she looked weird at me and I was weird out as well, but we hold hands and we started to sing. After we finished the activity, we looked at each other and we went to our seats. After a few weeks, my friends were talking about how someone had a crush. Yeah, second grade or something to crush. Then they asked me if I had a crush. I honestly did not know what a crush was. I asked a friend to tell me what a crush is. They said that a crush is someone that you are into. I still do not understand what that meant. So I said, no, I don't have a crush. A girl said, come on, there has to be someone that you like. Nah, I don't like anyone. You sure? Yeah, okay then. I was so confused, but I didn't really think much of it. I honestly don't remember the rest of this, but I do remember that I did start to have feelings towards this one girl, but not as a crush, more like a friend or an acquaintance, because we were in the same class for most of the time, and our friends, they talked to each other. I remember that, I remember that in third grade, we started to talk to each other, but very rarely. We played during recess, but not a lot. It was not until fourth grade when I started to feel weird towards this girl. We had an assignment together. As always, I decided that I get to work with a person that I know. Keep in mind that we're not really friends. We're more like acquaintances. I went to sit right next to her to get ready to start the assignment. When all of a sudden, I stopped. I could not move. For some reason, for some odd reason, my body started to shake. My heart started to pump fast, like really fast. I felt like I was going to explode. And I had some butterflies in my stomach. I honestly do not know why I felt so weird. I asked the teacher if I can go to the restroom because I did not feel so good. He said, sure, go ahead. I ran towards the bathroom. I was just standing there looking at myself in the mirror for like three minutes. I was starting to feel better. So I walked back to the class. My teacher asked me if I was okay. Yeah, I'm okay, thanks for asking. I went to talk to my acquaintance when she looked at me. Her face was tilted in a 30 degree angle. She looked worried. She asked me if I was okay. I said, yeah, I'm fine. I just felt that my heart was going to explode. She blushes, really? Why do you feel like that? Are you okay? I'm fine. I just felt weird for a minute, but I'm okay now. That's weird. I felt like that yesterday, she said. She said while looking down. After that day, things started to get weird. I started to have the weird feeling over and over again. It came to a point that I started to have it every day. And for some off reason, it would always happen when I was near my fellow acquaintance. I was confused and I was always nervous around this girl. We started to talk less over time. We barely even talk. I asked one of my friends, uh, let's name her Tomato. I asked Tomato if she know why I felt this way towards this girl. She said, oh my god, it's like you have a crush. What? You have a crush? I don't think so. I don't even know her like that. But you know her since second grade, right? You have known her for two years. Oh my god, you guys would be such a cute couple. I realized that I actually had a crush. Now I know why I felt that way. 
Ever since that day, I started to think about this girl every single day. I started to talk to her during lunch, and she also stayed with me once in a while. We talked during recess as well. It's fifth grade. We're not friends yet, but we're getting close. During the last week of school, my friends helped me set up this time to express my feelings towards her. Apparently, she also had feelings for me. I know that feelings were mutual, but for some reason, I just could not get myself to deal with it. But I had one week to prepare. Sorry, but I have to end it here. This video is getting a little too long, so I'm gonna have to make a part two. Let's get 10 likes and I will work on a part two. Thanks for watching, and as always, take care. See you later. Also, subscribe while you're at it. Hello, it's Editing Isaac here. Thanks for watching the video. You're really cool if you stayed to the end. One of my longest videos so far, and this is taking way too long to edit. This has taken me a little while. If you liked today's video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And if you have any other suggestions, like topics you want me to talk about, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, these videos do take a long time to make. This is like the third week of me working on this video. Uh, but hey, it's I like making these videos. They're really fun. Also, if you recognize the type of style of recording and uh, you you recognize how, like a similar format to another YouTuber, because this this video is inspired, this whole entire video how I edit it is inspired by another YouTuber. And if you can guess that YouTuber, I'm gonna leave your comment pink at the end of the video. If you like the video, please subscribe. And also, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, you're a real G, my guy or gal or non-binary. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for watching, and as always, see you in the next one. See you later, guys.